Whatever its original intentions, the supposedly charitable Clinton Foundation turned into an opaque conduit through which Hillary Clinton could leverage her position as Secretary of State for personal, political, and financial gain. To be absolutely accurate, that very well could have been the original intention. And we now know, as we long suspected, exactly why Hillary Clinton chose to use an email server in the basement of her home rather than the official State Department server. Mrs. Clinton's private server wasn't set up to expose national secrets, as it surely did. That was purely incidental. The server was put in place to keep the machinations of the Clintons and their namesake foundation out of public view. Why? Because by all evidence, those activities were unethical at best or grossly illegal at worst. We're still trying to figure out which. That after such actions have come to light, the country is still seriously considering the actor for the job of President of the United States is simply astonishing. As the email story has unfolded, Mrs. Clinton has been caught in lie after lie after lie. For its part, the U.S. Department of Justice has gone out of its way to avoid showing any interest whatsoever in examining whether or not Mrs. Clinton might have broken the law. And thus we find ourselves on the precipice of possibly installing an unindicted felon as commander-in-chief. This is without precedent in U.S. history. If Mrs. Clinton wins, it will signal loud and clear that laws are for little people, that accountability applies only to those lacking the proper standing and connections. It will bode ill for the long-term health of the republic. That's my word. What's yours? Go to youtellmetexas.com and you tell me. And follow me on Twitter at Paul Gleiser.